Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're solving one-step equations, uh, but we're using multiplication and division. And what we're going to do is show the solutions, both algebraically and using tape diagrams, as a concrete representation of how, uh, how the problems are to be solved. So let's take a look at our first guy right over here. We have our 15 equaling n over 5. And n over 5 is a division problem, so we have n divided by 5. So what I can do, I can play around here a little bit. Now that I have this equal sign, I can toss things around if I want to. I'll flip things over if I need to. Maybe I use a division symbol to set things up so they, they look, uh, I guess, a little more friendly. So I wind up with n divided by 5, because that fraction, that's what that means, n divided by 5. And now I want n all by itself. And if I have an n divided by 5, what I'm going to do is multiply that expression times 5, or by 5, so that my divide by 5 and my multiply by 5 uh, cancel each other out in a way, and I wind up with just n. But I do need to make sure that if I'm going to multiply one, one side of an equal sign by 5, that I make sure to multiply the other side by 5 to, make, to keep things in balance. So here's my divide by 5. I'm going to multiply that by 5. And again, why am I, divide, why am I multiplying uh, that expression by 5? So I wind up with n all by itself. Divide by 5 times 5 gives me 1, or n divided by 5 and then multiply by 5, you just wind up with n again. So, again, I need to do the same thing to the other side. So there's my 15 times 5, so here's my times 5 here, here's my times 5 here, and I know that 15 times 5 is going to give me 75. Okay? Now, to show this as far as a, um, as a tape diagram is concerned, I'm going to start with my problem here, this guy right over here, my n divided by 5, which means n, it's actually, and I'm looking for n, which is re really what I want. If this is n divided by 5, that means it's one-fifth of n, what's showing here. This box right here represents one-fifth of n because it's n divided into 5 parts. Well, if that's true, and it is true, that means I need four more of these things to actually give me n. So if this is n divided by 5, and this is n divided by 5, and this is n divided by 5, they're all n divided by 5. They're, each of these is representing one-fifth of n. Well, if I'm looking for n, I, I need to have all five of them. So here they are. All my one-fifths of n will add to give me n. All right. Now, according to my problem here, over here, n divided by 5 equals 15 which means each of these boxes, and I'll do it this way, let me draw it a little, be a little faster, which means every time I see this n divided by 5, it equals 15. The problem tells me so. And there you have it, folks. So here's my 15 times 5, which is right here. So here's my 15 times 5, right, 5 15s. And here's my n divided by 5 times 5, because I have 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n divided by 5s. And here are my five fifteenths. Now, the only thing I didn't do here was to check, make sure my solution is accurate. And I'm going to run two checks here. The first check, I'm going to take the original problem. Here's my 15 equals some number over 5. And if I substitute that n for 75 and I divide it by 5, I do wind up with 15 equaling 15. Not my favorite check because I wind up with a with a value that doesn't that uh, that is sort of just kind of out there, it has nothing to do with my 75. The second check I really like, because what I'm going to do is take my long expression here, or my long um, equation, if you would. Here it is, and now I'm going to substitute for that n. So now I'm going to take that 75, divide by 5 times 5 equals 15 times 5. And I'm left with 75 on this side and 75 on that side, and it works out. Everything checks out. And what I like about that is it matches my end value at the same time. So it looks pretty cool. All right? Well, that's a nice example using division. But let's work an example that's using multiplication, like this guy right here, 4p equals 36. I'm going to write that over here, 4p equals 36. Now, that means multiplication, 4 times p equals 36. Now, if I'm going to get p all by itself, I need to divide this by 4. So here's my multiply by 4. 
And once again, I want to remove that, I guess, uh, mathematically. So I'm going to divide that expression by 4, which means I need to take the 36 and divide that by 4 as well to keep everything in check and balance. So I'm left with P on this side, because 4 times P and then divide it by 4. I'm just left with the P. And 36 divided by 4 gives me 9. So I know P equals 9. Okay. Now if I'm to show this um, uh, as far as a as far as a tape diagram is concerned, this is 4P. Here it is. The whole thing is 4P, which means it's 4 times P, or uh, 4 groups of P, which means if, this, if the tape diagram is representing the entire 4P, that means there are 4 of them. So I'm going to split this into 4 equal parts and make each part equal P because they, they do, because I have 4 of them. So I split into 4 pieces. Each is worth P. Now, according to my problem here, P equals 9. Okay. And how do I know that? Well, I'm sorry, let me do the total. The total, let me work from the problem. The total is 36. Well, if it's split into four parts and these guys are all matching up with one another, and this is the same size as this guy and all that, if they're all equivalent, that means this box is equivalent to this box. And if 36 is my total and I have four pieces, that means every piece must be worth 9 because my 9 times 4 gives me my 36. And there I have it. So what did I do? Well, I took my 4p, I took my 4p, and I actually divided it into four parts, and I'm making that equal my 36. And what did I do with that 36? I well, I split that into four parts as well. Okay, so I'm left with p on this side, and I'm left with 9 on this side. And the only thing I have to work is my check. And again, I'll work it both ways. Here's my 4p equaling 36. Okay, and I'll substitute. Uh, my 9 for my P, there's 36, so 36 equals 36, and that's working out pretty well. But not my favorite check. I like using the long expression. So 4 times P divided by 4 equals 36 divided by 4. And again, I'll substitute, and my P value is 9. I'll put that in parentheses. That'll show multiplication there. Divide by 4 equals 36 divided by 4. So I get 9 on this side, and I get 9 on this side, because once again, my multiply by 4 and divide by 4, they're inverse operations, so I'm left with the 9. 9 equals 9. I like that because it matches the value of my P, and I am all set to go. All right, folks, that's the deal. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.